Scientists say in 10 billion years, our sun will die, and so therefore will we. Of course, stars die every day, and that's where we begin our countdown tonight at number seven. Sometimes when stars perish, they unleash the most powerful force in the universe, a radioactive light brighter than a million trillion suns. Imagine if that power were unleashed upon us. Not enough people take pause and reflect on our true place in the cosmos. We like to think of ourselves as having power over our fate. No, no, not yet at least. The powers of the universe vastly exceed any powers we wield. The power of nuclear gamma radiation has long been thought of as mankind's deadliest weapon. But in the early 1970s, American scientists discovered that the power was not man's alone. While searching for evidence of Soviet nuclear testing, NASA's spy satellites began sending back readings of abnormally high radiation, far greater than any bomb the U.S. had ever seen. Scientists immediately tried to pinpoint where on the planet the blasts were originating. But to their astonishment, they found that these bursts of gamma rays were not coming from the Earth, but were coming from space. Completely unexpected. Scientists trained their satellites on the cosmos and started searching for the source of what they now call gamma ray bursts. Gamma ray bursts are fascinating, cosmic enigmas. They are the most energetic things we have ever seen or measured. These are the biggest explosions the universe has seen since the Big Bang itself. It's as massive, essentially, as an explosion can be. Gamma ray bursts occur in a few milliseconds to several hundreds of seconds. And during that time, the energy they put out is actually more energy than the whole universe in the same period of time. A gamma ray burst is uh, the, the final collapse of a star. Every piece of the star is simply falling toward the center all at once. It gets incredibly dense, it gets incredibly hot, all sorts of nuclear reactions start to happen, radiation starts spewing out all over the place. It's just a maelstrom. We see about one a day, going off in some galaxy somewhere in the cosmos. These gamma rays are at safe distances. They're just cosmic curiosities in the night. But suppose a gamma ray burst happened nearby, in our own galaxy. I don't want to be around for that day. 